Ho! Oh, what is up, guys? Welcome to 2024 and our first video of the year. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So today I want to do a couple things in the studio, one of which is to show you guys how I make these silicone tops. Well, I don't make the silicone tops. I buy the top, but I make the cup uh, as a travel mug, and then we put this on. So we just started making like maybe 10 of these at the end of last year. Sold quite a few of them because I do own a coffee shop, Mocha Monkey, so they go really well with that. Gonna make some more of these, and I'm gonna show you on the wheel how to do it. First, I wanna ask you guys, so we are doing a soda kiln build workshop at our studio. So April 3rd to 6th, we have room for 10 participants. We are gonna fly Kevin Kowalski, who is a great soda. He's built a bunch of soda kilns. He b fires his own soda kilns. We're gonna fly him to Minnesota for a four day workshop. Uh, are you interested? We have room for five. I think we are, so total we have room for 10, but five are, spots are taken. Uh, it's gonna be $500 for those four days. And basically that just helps me offset the cost of flying Kevin out here, his time, some of the materials, and it's gonna be really cool. So if you guys, we take an old electric kiln and then we repurpose the electric kiln to a soda kiln. It's a very cool process, a super fun, unique, interesting one. So basically day one would be build the kiln. Uh, you could bring your own pots, like six to 10 pots to bring. And then we would glaze and load day two, then we would fire day three, and then day four we would unload and then you would be on your way. So email me if this is something that you're interested in. Uh, we only have spots for five more, so that's it. All right, what else is going on in the studio? It's gonna be a good year like always. I'm gonna try and do more YouTube videos, but based on the past few years, who knows what's gonna happen. All right, so we're gonna start with the clay. If you want a small one, I'd start with three quarter pound. If you want a large one, I'd start with a pound and a quarter. But we're gonna start with about a pound for most of these. All right, I got a few, a few balls. And so basically to make it a really good fit, you know, you have to throw it bigger than you want it because the clay will shrink. And so it's helpful to know the shrinkage rate of your clay. So what I have found is that if I throw it to just about the outer rim and then flare it out just a little bit, then that ends up being a pretty perfect fit. So I'm gonna show you guys how that looks. I throw it up and then obviously you want the base to be pretty small because it's the idea is to fit in a cup holder. And if you wanted to throw a handle on there, you could throw a handle on there. Uh, if you want to like have a really skinny bottom and then have it flare, <clears throat> flare up at the top. All right, so just like everything else, start out by centering the clay, however you best feel comfortable centering the clay. And then basically you're just making a cup or a cylinder as long as the base stays pretty thin. Now is the important part of this project, is to take this and see about how big it is. So right now I'd say if I just flare that out a little bit, I'm pretty much right there. There is a little bit of wiggle room, you don't have to get it like totally perfect. But I'm gonna do just one more little baby pull, get any other little clay up from the bottom. I say baby pull, because I'm not actually getting that much more clay up. And then I'm just gonna flare it out. The other thing I thought recently is like if I can just like get that top a little thinner. So I'm gonna make the top really quite thin. Yeah, so basically I just like have it go right outside the diameter of that. Get the last of the water out of there. I might, I might have made it just a little bit. If you have to bring it in a little bit, you can do that. But then I'll flare it back out. There we go. I think as long as it's just like slightly bigger, then that should be good. All right, there's number one. this video so got just a, a couple of those thrown hopefully that helps you if you're trying it obviously trial and error the first batch I threw I think was too small and then the next batch I threw was good except for like one was a little too big so 
if you're trying this, you gotta test your own clay, you can go to your clay provider. I know most is 15% or a lot of them are 15% shrinkage, but some of them are more like 10 or 11%. Some of them depend on which cone. So just like with all things pottery, trial and error, testing is super important. All right, again, let me know if you're interested in that soda kiln build workshop because I'm super excited about that. April 3rd to the 6th. Otherwise, I'll be coming out with a new video here coming up soon with all the fun things going on this year. Don't quite have it all planned out yet, but it's gonna be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Check out this light. Ooh, change the color of the lighting. Dark, bright, dark, it's pretty cool. There you go, check out that thing. That's what I filmed with today. See you guys in the next video.